Hello everybody, my name is Promise, and welcome back to more CK3 Princes of Darkness, playing as Pharaoh Ma'atkare of Machreb. We conquered a queendom as of the last video, so now we're looking pretty strong. I'm definitely becoming a powerhouse in Africa. To my east, I have a couple of threats. Some people who can't beat me per se, but are certainly going to be dangerous. So I don't want to push over here yet, but the second I see an opportunity to pounce on some of them, I do need to take it. In the meantime, though, we could try to take some territory that rightfully should belong to me. For example, let's suppose I wanted to take over the Canaries Islands, or rather Marrakesh, I think is the proper county, and take this thing over. And I think that could be nice. Alternatively, we go over here to Asfi and try to subjugate this guy. Could do um, seizing of the county itself. I mean, that's a thing. Question. So you're the... Are you the Duke? So if we do de jour against you, I don't think there's going to be a local ruler if you hold this one directly. I take that back. So the problem with doing de jour conquest is you keep the person uh, as your vassal. Sometimes that's fine, and sometimes it's really annoying because they tend to be a bit on the disloyal side. It's usually better, in my opinion, to be able to take that away from them. But I don't have quite a, a ton of piety. So I don't really feel like maybe using up all my piety when I could do Holy Wars for duchies. That might be a better way for me to go. Let's get over here into Asfi and we're just going to kill this guy. Some people are joining wars against me. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, he has allies. He has a lot of allies, but I think they were in, like, Spain and Portugal. If I can siege down this top holding fast enough, I don't think I really care that much. I really don't think it's going to matter. Especially because we're about to crush you. Hang on, let's put myself in charge. I have better battle advantage. The higher your battle advantage, the more damage your troops do. So they just inflict better casualties and win. It's really good. Now we're in a skirmishing phase. We're going to do an early battle phase. I have a huge advantage going into it. And there we go. My glory is widely known. Indeed. I am now illustrious. Which is what again? Increases the number of knights. Really? So I can have 13 knights now. Well, that's pretty cool. Let's see, I want to make sure that we're not allowing any terrible ones. I mean, at least 11 on everybody's pretty good. <laughs> yep, my husband and I are absolute power couples. And I can make myself more powerful if I wanted to use my vampire powers to uh, go feral. You know, use my uh, my long claws to start stabbing people in the neck. It's a thing we could do. I'm not sure I want to, because it reduces my beauty. And if there's anything that uh, Ma'atkale takes uh, pride in, it's her beauty. A liberty faction has been created against me. Oh, also, it appears that my daughter wants to become the queen. Hmm. Well, if we're friends, you can't join factions. What if I try to befriend my own daughter? It says that's very likely to work. And if she's unable to join, that'd be great. The Great Duelist. My vassal, Baron Safiya, has arrived in my court with a bandaged arm and a hunger for vengeance. She says that my daughter and heir... Uh, is going around and dueling people. Well, I suppose I could get some prestige by wounding my own daughter. Yeah, sure, why not? I'll show you how it's done. Boom, I gained some prestige. She's not going to do that anymore. Gehenna Omen, did you see that? Actually, you might not have, because my camera's kind of in the way. We got a pop-up about a Gehenna Omen. Which, again, seems like kind of the doomsday thing that happens here. I don't know. Can we catch this guy? I think we move fast enough we might be able to catch him. I just want to see if he can do something. Corresponding with my Chancellor, who did a good job, and you like me more. Yay! That's great. Kill this person and get a hostage so I can get some money. Also, somebody might join the war as an enemy. Might? They formed a new alliance. It's irrelevant. Go ahead. Where are you going? Where are you running? Where are you running? I don't know, actually. Are you going here? The nearest friendly territory? Get back here. I want to kill you. How far are you allowed to freaking retreat, dude? Okay, now we can catch him. To hurt is under siege. Irrelevant. I'm just gonna finish this guy off. Aha! We did get a prisoner! See? It was worth it! 30 gold! Alright, let's go ahead and enforce those demands. You serve me now, you fool! So this guy's gonna be a bit of a problem, I'm sure. He definitely doesn't like me too much, but oh well. Uh, we can't afford to take on too many more disloyal vassals if we're going to be having these faction issues. It will solve a lot of problems if I can make my wife happy. What the heck happened to you? Ah! She's horrifying! Blood potency, three. Blood surge. Intrigue, two. Intrigue? You have, like, no intrigue. Why would you bother? Y yeah. Scary vampire. Yeah. 
No likey, me no likey. Uh, we can lawfully imprison my own granddaughter, I'm pretty sure is who that was, because she's an infernalist. I'm not gonna bother with that. Let's go ahead and declare a, uh, holy war to take over Marrakesh. Because I'm gonna hold on to this one personally, I think. Or rather, I don't- I'm- not personally, but I don't want to have- I don't want to have another vassal who might become disloyal. There's no immediate advantage for me to have that. What just happened? Interpreting my recent friendliness as a sign, my daughter is requesting somebody get released. Yeah, okay. It's if if it's if she's in my prison and I can't ransom her, it's because I have no idea what to do with her except maybe eat her. So go for it. All right, so she likes that, and we have become friends with my daughter. Yay! Which should mean you're not allowed to join factions anymore. Yay! All right, so that's gonna make this somebody else still wants to install her as the queen, but it definitely means that it's less likely she's gonna become a threat to me. I like that. I like that a lot. My domain just went up to four. Well, hello. I sense an opportunity to take some land for myself and get stronger. Yes. Um, what's the development of some of these areas? Let's see, 15, 18, 16, 16, 15. Looking for any high development provinces that I wanna somehow take for myself. This one's already fine. Yeah. We could take... We could find a way to take one of these two. Or we could just, once we finish with this war, keep Marrakesh for myself. I'm kind of leaning to just doing that. Now, the problem with taking too many territories and all these other holdings... Right? Is at some point, we're going to have too many duchy titles. And that's going to make my vassals very upset. Alright, let's kill... Oh, we missed! Get him! Turn around! Sorry! Screech! Missed! There we go. Alright, so that crushes his army. Now I just have to wait for the ticking war score. We captured a fool. I can't ransom him. Darn it! I can't ransom anyone. Darn it! What do you mean we'll lose land? This vampire who's apparently become powerful enough that he thinks he's a powerful vassal. The sooner we can create some really good du dukes who can serve on my council and stuff and people will stop thinking they're powerful vassals, the better. They're not powerful enough to be a, th a threat to me. All right, we got that. That's mine. Thank you. Bye. Okay, I'm going to keep this for myself for now. And we're going to go ahead and upgrade this princedom because we can. Um, question. Can we find a way to increase development? I thought that... Wasn't there a way for the steward to increase development? Because that would be really powerful if, if it were possible. No one can increase development? Let's go ahead and increase control of Fez. Development is going to be necessary to upgrade to the next level here. We need 20. Uh, is development going up over here? It is. Very, very slowly. It will take many, many, many years for Fez to get a high enough development that I can upgrade my princedom. Mm. What about the east? You guys got any really high development or anything? 15, 15, 16. Not much better than what I've already got. I gained stress because someone wasn't swayed. Also, a neighbor lost a war. Hang on, that's important. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, because I'm gregarious, if I can, if I fail to sway people, I get stressed out because I'm an extrovert. This is why I'm not an extrovert in real life. It's not worth it. So wait, who lost a war? Was it you? You've got 52 people left? Well then. <laughs> Let's go get you. I want to kill you now. Take a duchy. That's only one province. I don't want that duchy. This duchy. This is the one that I want. You got 337 men between all of you. You're pathetic. You're also horribly in debt. But I have just enough piety to make this work. Do it! Non-stop warfare! I blob in CK3. What can I say? There's not as much of a coalition mechanic. If you can holy war for days, it's great. Actually, I think we can afford to split this army in half, since you've got basically nothing. One of you go here, onagers go here, and then we will move on to the capital in just a little bit. Minting new coinage. It is my right and responsibility to decide what kind of coins shall be used throughout all of Maghreb. Mint silver coins. Development growth plus 5%. That's nice. Lots of prestige. Or a good chance to gain money by debasing the currency as well as get the development, and I get lifestyle experience. Do it. 
Gosh dang it. I had like a 20 summit percent chance of failing that. Whatever, it's fine. Spouse says divide and conquer. Actively supporting against me. My husband has a plan to change that. Trust me, the things I could tell and make him disavow. Well, that would be great. Yeah, husband, go go do your thing and make sure he's not allowed to do anything else. That's great. My husband's doing great. I was a little bit wary about this guy. Yeah, I was thinking I might have to kill him or something. You know, take his money and go. But like, he's been good. He fights really well. He supports me in everything that I do. What can more can he ask for in a vampire man? Not much. He's great. All right. Low county control in Marrakesh. Yeah, duly noted, but first I want to finish off in Fez. It's only going to be another, like, 30 summit days. But if we can get control of Marrakesh, that'd be fan flip fantastic. We win a siege. Okay, let's move over to Zekapital. And that's going to finish off Alger in, like, no time flat. Five years left to count, uh, convert Tlemcen. Apparently, you are at war with a scary lady here. Holy crap, what's wrong with you? You're wounded and flagellant and a pilgrim. Hmm, fun. Oh, you're scaly. I could become a pilgrim. If I spent some money and did a pilgrimage, I could get become a pilgrim. That could be useful. I like piety. It lets me do holy wars more often. Uh, yeah, we'll join this war. Um, I don't think you need my help. So you might just end this pretty quick. Wait, Molly? Oh, she's the queen of Molly. Oh. Interesting. All right, we finish in Fez with the control. Let's go ahead and start building that up in Marrakesh. Control, of course, gets you more tax collection, gets you more levy. Everything's good. My nephew was captured. Oh, no! How could this possibly have happened? Can we find a way to get down over here, please? Does it involve going in the water? Of course it does. Can you march the long... Can you march a long way, please? And not use the boats? Because I don't want to have to pay for them. They're expensive. All right, my prisoner has died. I'm going to send only this army. And then uh, once we're done with the siege and we win this war, I'm just going to go ahead and disband these guys. I don't need to send many reinforcements, and I can just pay for half the levy instead of all of them for a war I don't care about. Why go into debt? Hang on. Paying for war. We were just talking about this. Wars are expensive with my treasury rapidly emptying. Yes, so rapidly. Think about way to get stuff. Collect war taxes, which gets me a lot of stuff, but upsets, a, wow, a lot of development growth. Gain stewardship lifestyle experience. Efficient supplied armies could be nice. Or things will work out. Now, let's try this. Okay, we got the perk. Um, did I, did I get that? What, you're also fighting someone? All right, now we have to defend. He's being attacked in two directions. Okay, now we actually do need more troops. We did efficiently supply the troops. Well, that's just great, actually. So I got a lifestyle perk. Cool, let's go for that golden obligations. Now I can use hooks to try and demand money from people. That'll be fun. So wait, who else are we fighting now? These guys, Taggart. Oh gosh, all right, fine. Um, Get down over here, no, no. Get down over here, walk all the way, and we will help siege some stuff down. Okay? My daughter has joined this war with her husband in Ghana. I'm really regretting getting the alliance with Ghana. I, I don't think that they've been worth it to me at this point. Looks like we just got another legacy. We can get Gould Cavalry. Not worth it. I could I could get the Knight Effectiveness. That'd be so much better. Why not just let me have that? Oh, now I'm the Dynasty Head. Oh, now I would have been able to spend the power. Could have spent the Renown and gotten something I actually liked. No, you had to make it complicated, didn't you? Flippin' heck. Um, alright. What else we got going on here? Um, this person remains a consistent thorn in my side. What is going on with my Marshal over here? Frick, dude. Blood potency. Blood surge. Yeah, he's he's got scary he's got scary teeth. Big honking chompers. Um, let's take a look at my realm and see if there are any other. Oh, I can increase crown authority. Hang on. So it upsets all my vassals, but I get extra money and I get extra tax. That's really good. Change succession laws. Vassal cannot wage war against other vassals. Yup. No one else can inherit titles. Vassals who refuse title revocation or vassal extraction are considered criminals. And that's good. Okay. So this would upset a lot of people, but I think it's worth it and we're going to do it. Let's go ahead and increase my crown authority. Now, there might be some people who in their infinite stupidity will decide that uh, I should... Dis um, 
stop that and they're going to join a faction against me to try and reduce crown authority again but i think we can keep that under control let's find a character that i like who can take over the territory of algiers you know i'm going to say somebody of my religious group at the very least somebody who's not as likely to hate me let's go for some of skills uh no one outstanding here um you're okay you could be useful to me, and you've got a bit of martial skill, which will translate into a lot of extra levy, which is good enough for me. I'm going to give you both, so that you can form a duchy, because this duchy only has two provinces in it, I think. Yeah, it's a pretty pathetic duchy. Is this a single province duchy? No, it's two. Okay, never mind. I didn't even know you... Uh, there may be like one or two in the world that are like that, one province duchies. They do exist, I'm pretty sure, but... I mean, I'm not worried about it. Alright, so we should be getting a fair chunk of money... Out of all these vassals, let's take a look at the realm. Yeah, they have to provide me 4.2 gold. That's not as much as I might have hoped for, but my personal holdings is where I'm making all my money. Alright, so that guy likes me. Let's go to the vassals and see what's going on. So you are apparently a huge issue. I guess I should try to sway you to my side before you become a threat. I want to... I mean... Mm. Yeah, you're a powerful vassal and stuff. You want to be on the council and everything else. It'd be kind of fun to do that, but I don't know. Let's go ahead and upgrade this one more time. Get some extra garrison and tax as well as some development growth. And how is Tlemcen doing as far as development? You are growing, but again, it's going to take such a long time. This is why I just don't like developments as a mechanic. It feels inconsequential. It feels like you almost never can get, like, a break on that. Uh, hello. You've got 4,000 troops wandering over here? Holy crap. Alright, new plan. We sneak by you and don't fight. And we try to help kill, I don't know, Mo um, Molly over here so that Ghana can focus fire elsewhere. Let's try not to fight them. My daughter's running fantastic cover right now. Fantastic. Uh, inefficient census. Ugh. Well, that's less desirable, but that's because I don't have enough control. It's fine. Probably. Probably fine. Hopefully fine. Um, we could consider going on like a pilgrimage or something after this war. Prove my dedication to my beloved set. Yeah. It's a thing. I wouldn't mind getting a pilgrim trait and just getting just extra piety for like ever. Uh, let's see. Hi, Molly. What's up? Can we go kill you? Now, I don't have my best men at arms over here. And, unfortunately, it looks like Ghana and friends are wandering in different directions and are leaving us in a vulnerable spot. Let's see if we can siege some of this stuff down quickly and just put an end to this war. I don't think... Let's see, in this war, you have no allies. So these two guys are going to fight together, but I don't think they're going to come to the defense of Mali. So we'll see if this works. I could still nominate a successor. I mean... Probably going to be you, to be honest. She's pretty good. She's got good stats. I'm hoping never to die. That's the plan. The plan is to never die. As long as that works, we'll be fine. Where are you guys going? You're going to go scare off Molly? That's great. Keep her out of here. There we go. There we go. See, you're doing the thing. Okay, we crushed that. 25% war score now. All right. You just gotta find a way to get down to this capital. I'm taking attrition, so I don't want to stay here. We got that. Imprisonment? Hello! Who are you? You look gross. I will rip you apart. I can ransom you for nothing because you suck. Fine, I'll keep the extra war score. Let's go to their capital. 17 months. That is a, uh, that is a pretty nasty fort you guys got there. Pretty nasty fort. Alright, Ghana, don't do anything dumb. Just keep scaring them off. Don't do anything dumb, though. Hold them back while I get this for you. We can do this. She's almost at a positive opinion. Another Gehenna Omen. Mmm. Mmm. How are my other neighbors doing? So, you still have practically nothing. Mazab has some stuff. Zab is strong. Zab and Mazab? Huh, fun. Very creative. The Sea of Shadows. You're a much larger, scarier force, actually. Oh, wow. Wait a minute. What is this guy? 
Naples, Sicily, Byzantium, and now in Northern Africa? Ooh, you're not allowed to be there. No, 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 no. You're not allowed to be there. I don't like it. I definitely don't like it. Well, see what happens. I might not be able to kick him out right away, but eventually, maybe? Uh, hi. So, you, lady that I'm trying to improve relations with, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go down over here, and I'm gonna create a, a, a duchy title, and I'm gonna make you the duchess here. This is gonna make you like me a bit. Um... And somebody else become... Yeah, should you become my vassal? Yeah, we transfer this vassal under you. That works. Doink. Okay. So you now hold this title, which should make you happy. So you're a more powerful vassal. 1,300 troops. What I think I will do now to keep you under control... I can't befriend you because we're already scheming. Hang on. Stop trying to sway her. She already likes me a bit. Let's try to actually turn her into a bestest little buddy. We're very good at making friends. I'm so freaking gorgeous. And if we can keep our Duchess happy, friendly, and unable to join factions, it doesn't matter that we make her more powerful. That's fine. Prince of a city constructed in Marrakesh. That brings my max levy up to 4,200. That's pretty good. Come on, get this capital fort. Get it done. Upset over conversion. Yeah. Yeah, that's not good. Come on, only 30 days left on this nonsense. Surely we can finish this up soon. Okay, got that at 46% war score. Hmm, doesn't say we're very likely to win this war, this fight. Why? Better traits, better quality, more counters, and defending against a river. Yeah, not doing that. Let's, uh, let's go try to unsiege some land instead. Oh. Yeah, I want to unsiege some land so we can get the war score back up. Another prisoner taken in a siege. Nope, you're not worth anything, so forget it. Faction created. Peasant rabble. Not much we can do about that. Smuggling ring. Tlemcen is increasingly proving to be an issue. Not that far off from being able to convert them, though. Abul Hassan Ash Sharali. Theologian of great prestige. This is going to be another one of those great people. I'll spend some prestige to try and bring you to my court. I don't know what to do with you, but, I mean, I'm gonna do it. Oh, we have to go over here. Sorry. Hello. Wish I had brought the onagers. We made this a lot faster. We're gonna try to unsiege their capital. Mm. Owner is over five years in debt. Really? Your troops are like... Okay, that's right. Run away. I don't actually want to fight you. I just want you to go away. There we go. I don't want you to win the siege of your capital. So if we can scare you off... How fast can I win this? Five months? Kindred Mines. Hey, we become friends. Seven months. Um, I can win this siege and get some war score. I'm trying, dang it, Ghana, but you're not very helpful. But I'm really trying here. Okay, made some progress on this. These guys are marching in a dangerous position. I could probably jump on them, but I'm not going to. Up to 24% war score all of a sudden. That's great. I think you got the war goal back. That's how that worked. Alright, so we're going to get this. Then we're going to immediately try to scare you off again. I think we can make you run away. Yep, they're going to run off. Okay, hang on. Just scare her off. She breaks the siege. That's all I cared about. Now we turn around and go for another barony. Okay, we got the siege of Kita. How fast can we win this? Eight months? Nope, can't take even fights like that. We're gonna have to scare her off again. Where are you going? Are you coming to attack me? Please don't. Okay, you know what we can do? We can go down over here, we can scare you off, and we can go for another siege. I don't want to be doing this. I don't want to be helping allies. Allies aren't worth that much to me. My daughter is doing a great job in going for the capital. We're now sieging two more forts in Mali. If we can get both of these, that'll end this war and we can focus fire, finally. Or, better yet, I can go home. Hey, we discovered technology! Did we? Wait. Yes, bailiffs! Domain tax is 5%! Hooray! Money! And the victory against... Okay, this war is done. I didn't expect this one to end first, but it did. Hilarious. Alright. 
There's some sort of a revolt going on over here, too. They're revolting. More Gehenna Omens? The Great Winter of Avalon. Something going on, guys! I'm just saying! Scary things happening! I don't know what it is, but something scary! Can I please just catch and crush your army? I know, I'm taking a river crossing penalty. I don't care. Just... Okay, we're done. Done with this nonsense. I don't know how you're winning. You have worse... Tr you have less troops, but run away. Just go somewhere else. Not worth it. Lost too much of my levy. Secret documents lost. Darn it. Lost respect for my counselor. Um, you can siege down this if you want. That's fine. The problem is I took a river crossing penalty. If I hadn't done that, I think we would have been fine. Whatever. And that ends the war. Finally. Gosh. Alright, get home. Get out of here. Ghana did take something, so now you're stronger. If we're gonna have you as an ally, I want you to be a strong enough ally that you're consistently helpful to me. Who is this person, by the way? You've got a fair number of troops. That's because you serve someone else far away. Who are you and where are you? Way up here in India? Come on, nobody in India should be allowed to have this land. That's just annoying. Actually, it should make it very easy for me to conquer. I can just get ticking war score for days. So we got a fair bit more money. Um, I'm going to go ahead and create for myself a duchy title. Oh, wait. Laws? No, I don't want to change succession laws. I miss being able to have laws that would allow me to... Um, Laws that would allow me to make certain other religions illegal so I can just revoke titles and make it criminal to be of a different religion. I miss those. Those were good. Uh, Alright, maybe I create for myself then the Duchy of Fez. I'm gonna make myself another Duchess here. There you go. Up to a thousand prestige now. I can start spending that a lot. Maybe we should do that. I mean, you've got 2,200 troops, but it's nothing compared to me. Of course, we could also just keep pushing to the east. Got a truce with you for at least a while, though. Yeah, I think we'll go down to the south. Let's attack these guys and go for some domain holdings in Makhreb. It's only appropriate, I think. Um, but we could also just sit back and wait for a little bit. I'm making 15 gold a month all of a sudden. We're starting to get into a better position. Now, if there was something I could do to get my development to go up faster, that would be great. But I don't see anything that will do that. Piety, control, garrison, tax, control. I don't care about control. There's only one thing I know of that I can do that will increase the development, and that is to develop my capital, which will make me extremely stressed, and I will hit stress level 1, which I don't want to do. Also, it only increases it by 0.2 per month for five years, right? So, that's not a lot. Hmm. It's like 10 develop. That's like 10 growth. Out of the 100 that we need to advance to level 17. No, thank you. We could go for an upgrade to the Temple of Set, worth a lot of piety if we do that. I think we're going to go on a pilgrimage instead, though. Let's prepare for a journey. It is time for me to be on my way to one of the holy places. Cairo, very long pilgrimage. Alexandria, or to Tunis. Let's go to Cairo. Why not? Yes, it's a long pilgrimage, but fun stuff can happen on pilgrimages. I can kill people who, like, talk bad to me or something, you know? Loss of companions. For every week that passes, my fellowship grows smaller. Some have gone as far as they can before the need to return overtakes them. Others have met less fortunate aides. Gain foreign guards, which gets me prowess and levy size forever? Or Divine Protection for 10 years. Lots of de devotion, lots less intrigue. That's only for 10 years. They're both only for 10 years. Hmm. I guess I'll take Divine Protection. I don't want to spend all that money right now. We might need it for other things. Pilgrimages are long and can be expensive. Love thy neighbor. <laughs> Truly they spit in the face of Set. Disdain for heathens because I'm zealous. Can you please just... Okay, this... I want to see what this does. I want to see what this does! 
There we go, got it. Alright, opinion of different faiths, true different faiths, and levy reinforcement rate of the same faith. That's pretty good. Yeah, right now, we'll just get some piety. We still disdain human, uh, uh, heathens either way, but this time I'm more holy because I made it very clear that I had disdain for them. <laughs> Alright, and we've arrived at Cairo. I've walked a holy path. I get 625 faith. That's great. And I'm a pilgrim, which means now I get extra monthly piety and all people of my faith like me better. This is really good. As the road upset underscore bishop underscore male offers me blessing. Mm. I have gained a level of piety. I am now a paragon of virtue. That's usually considered to be pretty good. And now we 100% can do some wars over here. Holy War for Kingdom. Mmm. 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 Well, we've returned home. Fascinating. Hang on. No, some of these guys don't hold entire kingdom titles. It's not going to be as easy as just simply walking in and taking over, like, all of Zob in one war. But we definitely can do, at the very least, another duchy war over here. So we will. For the Duchy of Seuss. It's rightfully mine anyway. But I don't want to do du jour stuff where I get new vassals I don't like. I'd rather just take this for myself and I can figure out what to do with it. Alright, well we're declaring our war. I do need to end this video here. Let's move my rally point and raise up the army like so. And this should be easy-ish, I would imagine. You haven't called in any allies, nor have I, but I've got the prestige to do so if I want. It's pretty good. Uh, and how are we doing in my goal to form the Empire of Makreb? We have a long way to go. We only have 25 of the 72 counties I would need. Not to mention, I'm going to need to own at least two kingdoms. Now, that will happen by default. Still, it'd be really cool to form this empire. But I got a lot more conquering to do. Thank you all very much for watching. I do hope that you enjoyed this video. If so, then I'd ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.